Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You well. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's okay. okay. What is your name? Just... My name is Janvi. Janvi, and where are you living at the moment? Uh, I'm staying in India. It's a place ah. called uh, Vishakapatnam, so that's our city. Okay. Yeah. And what's the state called? Uh, the state is Andhra Pradesh. Okay, I know. I actually live in India too, so I'm I'm in India. I'm in Goa. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I know where you are. Um, I'm from England, obviously, and mm -hmm. I've been living in Goa for three years. Oh, okay. Where are you based yeah. from? From I'm um, from the south of England, so about 100 miles from London, but further oh, south. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm from London because I've stayed for about, I'm, I'm still currently staying uh, because of the lockdown, I couldn't go there. Ah, yes. No, I well, want to go back as well, but we can't go anywhere at the moment. I can't can go anywhere. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so I, I used to stay in the Essex County. Oh, Essex, yes, okay. Yeah, Essex, So you yes, have London, yes. then you have Essex. Yeah, then you have, yeah. The next county is Suffolk. Oh, yeah, You've yeah. Heard about Suffolk. That. Yes, yes. And then the next county down below that is, is Norfolk, and that's where I was born. Oh, okay, okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. So, so you're you very close to where I was born. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to oh. go there, or do you want to stay here? Um, I like both, but I usually go back to see my son and friends about sort of April, May time. So I would be there now. Oh, uh, and okay. yeah. So I stay for two months and then I come back to India for 10 months. Oh, OK. That's that's great. Oh, not this year. Not this yeah. year. Uh, OK. <laughs> not this year. Yeah, true. I Nobody's know. I going understand. anywhere. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. I know. Oh. I don't know when it's going to end, but yeah, it. You all it's don't the know. Mil I... million rupee question. We true, true. <laughs> I think only time can decide. Now, yes. nobody yes. knows yes. what. I don't only think any can any human can decide. Definitely, yes, no humans. True. It's time. It's out of our hands now. Yes. I <laughs> keep saying, "When are you coming home?" I said, "I don't know." Yeah. I can't tell exactly. you because I would be lying. I don't true. know. <laughs> And we just have to make the best. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. Can I ask you something? So yeah, I, sure. want, Anything. I just want to know some of the phrases and idioms that are most commonly used in, in British or in any other, somewhere around the world. So what are the phrases or idioms that you commonly used? Um, video on YouTube. Of what, you're, what you're looking for. So if you were uh, reading? Uh, no, I just want to... I usually teach as an English tutor, so I just want to, so that it's it's more helpful for our students out there on YouTube. So it would so be you say, yeah. When you say things like it's, it, it, like you've said, it would be more. It would uh, it would be helpful. You don't have to say more helpful. So you could okay, just say okay. it, it would be helpful. Oh, okay, okay, okay. that's great. It's just different, for, but I can still understand what you're saying. I mean, if you're okay. teaching that online as a are you english as a second language yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it doesn't have to be perfect oh okay mm -hmm. no no that's not it's if it has to be perfect if you wanted to do go to university to study english oh you, yes that's right perfect but i think Correct. as long as you've got some sort of understanding mm -hmm. and as long as the person you're speaking with can understand you you. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, yeah. In, in, in many, because um, I teach psychology. Oh, okay, and, that's good. Yeah, to um, A-level students. So that's the okay. psychology we work from there. Wow. And even at, at that uh, stage, when they're, because they're up to 18-year-olds, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're doing their A-level. Even then, their English and their grammar doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect. Yeah, true. As long as the other no. person can understand. Can understand. The only time it has to be perfect is if it's for English. Yeah. So if you wanted to do a degree in English or you wanted to become an English teacher in England, Correct. then you have to have perfection. But Correct. to practice, the more you practice and speak with um, with English 